senior security contributor Mike Morell is in Washington. He is a former deputy CIA director. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. What is the U.S. goal and strategy here? Uh, the goal in the short term is to keep the um, ISIS fighters from taking over Erbil, the capital of uh, Kurdistan in the north, and to uh, free the uh, the the religious group that has been trapped in the mountains there. Um, that seems to be working. Um, but what is going to take a lot more work, Charlie, is uh, to actually degrade the group and to destroy the group. What we're doing right now is not going to do that. And what will it require to do that? I think two things. One is it, it's going to require us, um, with our capabilities, to take out the leadership of the group, while the Iraqi army and the Kurdish army, the Peshmerga, uh, fights on the ground against these guys. And that latter piece is going to take a political agreement in Baghdad, which we see this morning is getting even more difficult to get. Mike, the president himself admitted over the weekend that this Islamist state militants advance is more rapid than intelligence estimates. Was this an intelligence failure or a policy failure? So I don't think this was an intelligence failure. This is, this is a classic problem in the intelligence world. There's a difference between strategic warning and tactical warning. There was strategic warning here in the sense that the intelligence community was saying for over a year, a year and a half, two years, that this group was getting stronger and stronger and stronger. What's much more difficult is that tactical warning that says they're going to move tomorrow or they're going to move in the next week. That's much more difficult. That's what we didn't have. You were there at the CIA, you say this was not an intelligence failure. And over the weekend, we heard the former Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, suggesting it was a policy failure. I mean, she said that Obama's failure to assist the moderate rebels in Syria, quote unquote, left a big vacuum. Is this an outgrowth of our inaction in Syria? There is no doubt that what ISIS was able to do in Syria was probably the key factor in strengthening them um, in terms of what they're doing in Iraq today. It is difficult for me to see how arming the moderate rebels um, would have made that much difference in Syria. Um, we would have had to have done it on a very, very large scale that I think would have frightened our partners in the region because it would have put a very, very large footprint, U.S. footprint, on the ground in the Middle East. So you support the decision made by the president at the time? Yes. Mike Morrell, thank you. Welcome. In our next half hour, we'll take a rare look inside ISIS.